Freedom Tunes. I'm a brilliant intellectual. As am I. The two of us are sick and tired of dealing with troglodytes and have moved into a bomb shelter so we don't catch the stupid. To stay sharp, we spend our days pursuing the pastime of true intellectuals. Debunking YouTube videos. We are... The Debunkers. Pornography. Some people believe it should be available and accessible without stigma. Others think, well, it's not for me, but it's fine for other people in certain situations. And a few people think it should be banned completely. Oh, uh, did I say pornography? Sorry, I meant abortion. Our main story tonight <laughs> is abortion. And yes, yes, we have talked about it before. Last time we looked at the way abortion laws in America have in many places made access to abortion difficult, uh, as clinics all over the country have shut down. But tonight, we're going to focus on the exact opposite of an abortion clinic, something called a crisis pregnancy center. The opposite of an abortion clinic? Can you think of anything worse? Facilities whose primary purpose is to talk women out of terminating a pregnancy. Oh, how horrible. Something they don't often make that clear. Oh, they don't always make that clear? How deceptive. Yes, nothing like Planned Parenthood, which makes it perfectly clear that nearly 25% of their clinic revenue comes from performing abortions and that they have literal quotas they need to fill by pushing more women towards abortion, whether or not they truly believe it's the right option for them. Instead, running friendly looking ads like this. Before you make the decision about a pregnancy that comes at a less than perfect time, get jelly on the belly. Come to Sunrise Women's Clinic, a clinic where our nurses specialize in early pregnancy options. Okay. <laughs> jelly on the belly is a pretty childish way to describe an important medical procedure. Yes, and Planned Parenthood is a pretty silly way of describing a facility for people who are neither interested in planning nor being parents. I'm not sure that I would trust a doctor that referred to colonoscopies as looking for cooties in the booties. <laughs> But, the second, one of the early pregnancy options that you won't get at Sunrise Women's Clinic is an abortion. Can you imagine the horror of persuading women to choose other options besides abortion? But that can be hard to tell from their vague name and marketing, and that actually happens a lot with CPCs. Take the Center for Pregnancy Choices in Mississippi. It sounds like a welcoming place. The website even has links labeled Thinking Abortion and Thinking Parenting, and it was founded by a woman named Barbara Beavers, whose very name sounds like that of a sassy mother in a TV show about a family of beavers. It would be called Hot Damn, and it would be absolutely delightful. <laughs> but once you're inside her CPC, you will find that it is vehemently against any choice that is not carrying a pregnancy to term. Vehemently against any choice that is not carrying a pregnancy to term. I just love how he worded that. As if there are multiple ways of not carrying a pregnancy to term. Abortion. Literally, the one other option besides carrying a pregnancy to term is abortion. That's it. It's one option. But for whatever reason, it's the only option you seem to be obsessed with ensuring women take. Um, in fact, just listen to Barbara explain where she stands on abortion. You're deceiving yourself if you say you can kill your baby and it'd be good for you. That's just deception. That's not true. It doesn't. It doesn't register with reality. Mamas, women are not made that way. Women are made to protect and to guard and to, to, to die for their babies, not their babies to die for them. I, I, okay, I gotta break character here for a second. Wow. Um, literally none of what she said here should even be controversial. I mean, this is such a sweet woman. And all she wants to do is save the lives of unborn children. And also, notice her genuine concern for the women experiencing unplanned pregnancy. She starts off by referencing her concern for the well-being of these women, saying abortion won't make them happy. She's watching out for women and children. That is the most noble thing a person can dedicate their life to. And there's nothing in it for her besides that. And this? This is the worst thing they could find her saying. And it was actually kind of beautiful. Let me be perfectly clear here, Barbara. The only females made to die for their babies are Pacific salmon. They lay <laughs> thousands of eggs and then die after spawning. You're welcome. Tune in next week for more of Johnny O's fish facts, wildlife wonders, and abortion. <laughs> and centers like that one are proliferating. There are now 2,700 pregnancy centers in America compared to less than 1,700 abortion providers. You say this like it's a bad thing. Aren't you about women's choice? 
There are 2,750 crisis pregnancy centers giving women options and information they might not get from the institutions which literally profit off of abortion. And you think that's a bad thing? And the discrepancy is even worse in certain states. Mississippi, for example, has one abortion clinic and 38 crisis pregnancy centers. According to the Guttmacher Institute, there were 2,290 abortions performed in Mississippi in 2014. How many would you have rather there been, John? So if they are that prevalent, people should absolutely know what they are. And look, if you believe abortion is immoral, you are, of course, allowed to set up a centre dedicated to convincing women of that. But what is happening with CPCs is that way too often, women with unplanned pregnancies are being actively misled while trying to access healthcare. If you believe abortion is acceptable, then you're free to set up a facility telling women that it is. But what more than often happens is people are convinced that Planned Parenthood is exclusively concerned with women's health and not making money off of aborting their children and then selling their organs. And CPCs seem happy to have women confuse them for abortion clinics. Just listen to Abby Johnson, an anti-abortion activist, addressing a conference for one of the largest CPC organizations. Love how you didn't mention that Abby Johnson used to work for Planned Parenthood. That's not an important detail, the fact that she's an insider. No, it doesn't matter. We want to appear neutral on the outside, the best call, the best client you ever get is one that thinks they're walking into an abortion clinic, okay? Those are the best clients that could ever walk in your door or call your center. The ones that think you provide abortions. Wow. What's so damning about that? Obviously, someone who wants to prevent abortion would be interested in talking to women seeking abortions. Change happens on the level of the individual. I don't see what's controversial about this. Normally, the strategy, pretend you're an abortion clinic, is not actually a great marketing stunt. Yes, which is exactly why Planned Parenthood tries to spend so much time pretending it isn't an abortion clinic. Although, I am pretty sure that Radio Shack would have tried that if they thought of it. <laughs> oh, so sorry, we don't actually perform abortions here, but while I've got you, can I interest you in a gently used USB cord or a Microsoft Zoom? <laughs> they come in brown. And the efforts to conceal their true intent takes many forms, starting with the name. Many CPCs have the word choice in their name. You do realize the word choice isn't a synonym for abortion, right? Yes, and the fact that you think it is reveals to me quite a bit about your agenda. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to help me make more, please donate at patreon.com slash freedomtune so I can get more of these cartoons done and keep releasing them once per week. Thank you.